Hey everybody, clearing. Okay, I am at Pachina Bay Festival. I'm gonna show everybody this beautiful spot. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna do a divine masculine check-in and see what we can. What are the DMs up to? How are they envisioning this connection at this time? Thank you, divine creator for using me as a channel of only the highest, most beneficial information coming through. What are the divine masculines thinking and feeling? What are they wishing to manifest at this time? What are their actions? What is the biggest challenge, the solution? And the direction in the near future? And what do the DFs? need to know about the energy and I'm going to do what is the unseen the intangible the energetic growth that's happening at each step of the way here okay hey Suki all right conscious mind for these connections Wow. So masculines are really looking at how they could live a more soul driven. Let me just see if my counter is going. Yeah, more a soul driven, passionate, inspired soul purpose, a purpose. We've got the Ace of Wands in the inverse and the Ten of Wands, which reduces to the Ace of Wands, which is the ignition, the passion coming in. So masculines are really seeing that they want to match the divine feminine's passion. What do the feminines need to know about this? The world. So this has had to play out the way that it has to come full circle like this. So the masculines have had to see this energetic resurgence of mission, of purpose, of spirituality, of greater calling coming in. Ooh, and the great elation. So we have reconfiguration, cycles and gratitude. So the masculines have been heavily integrated into the physical world, the rat race, all of that kind of thing, really buying into pro providing and protection from a worldly standpoint. So feminines, you're being guided right now to see your masculines as masters of the physical domains. And now with the com combination of the spiritual, the the high priestess energy there's this rising up there's this elation and we're meant to have gratitude that we're bringing these two aspects the feminines have heavily been connected with the intuition and inspiration that way and the masculine so much to do with the physicality so there's a blending here and a merge and the masculines are taking inspiration from this feminines and there's belonging for both so this is on the conscious mind where it's going to start illuminating that it takes two, that these are the perfect matches. What are the masculines thinking of their feminine? Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is in the inverse. So it's like the masculines are in the same suit here wanting to come forward. I'm really getting that they don't feel like the feminines are that far out of reach anymore. There's something to do with living situation that the masculines want to work towards fixing, um, improving, improving upon. This is also a card of the home and creature comforts in the inverse like this. It can be that they want to work towards being the king of pentacles to match you as their life partner, but it can also be that they know something about living situation that they want to blend. They want to come forward. They would live with you feminines. They would marry you if that resonates. There's something about making this official in the physical and it's not quite at that place yet. What do the feminines need to know? Temperance, there's some more healing that needs to happen. Energetically, Metatron star, exaltation, brilliance, triumph and victory. So this healing is guaranteed. This is a work in progress. The Knight of Pentacles always reaches its goal, always comes to that final fruition. So it is happening. Metatron, energy, miracles, um, manifestation, this is part of the lesson of mastery is learning how to manifest that which we know we are being given on our hearts to go towards that obedience of manifestation okay what can we see for how the masculines are feeling on the heart space 
five of swords and eight of cups so they know that they've walked away in some way they they know that they've kept spaciousness they know that they have maybe in some cases completely said I'm not interested I don't have feelings I don't want this and they're really trying to figure out what is their truth there because they they know they've wanted to walk away from things that don't emotionally serve, but they're also actively manifesting whatever this change is. They want to reinvent themselves so they are actually a match here. They don't want to come back incorrect. They don't want to come back in in the old energy. They don't want to recreate history is what I'm feeling there. On the heart space, it means so much to them to come in renewed, refreshed, and capable. What do the feminines need to know? Nine of Pentacles, so just stay in your wholeness. Do not backslide into codependency. Don't desire things prematurely. Let it fully ripen. What is the energy that's happening here? Simultaneity, non-linear processing and epiphanies. So stay in this energy, feminines, because it's helping the masculines have this food for thought and make some progress. Towards what they do envision, the synergy here every slow moving bit of this connection is helping the big picture be revealed what can we see on the heart space for you feminines okay secretly they are healing so we already got this temperance card exactly in the same way so the masculines know they have some healing to do feminines have some healing to do you know every time we clear something out we have an integration phase where the healing anchors in even more so masculines are possibly waiting for you feminines to come through having a little bit more single time or a little bit more time to find yourself after major changes but they are also leaving the old lives as well and coming out of old patterns old habits um, addictions non-fulfilling actions things like that they're sh they're switching their game up too what do the feminines need to know ten of pentacles this is how we do it right this is how we do it so it's about not settling prematurely it's about holding out until you know until the passion until that fire ignites i'm being drawn back to the first card this ignition of full-blown passion knowing like that hooray like hurrah like this is it where both know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's absolutely anchored i know in my own journey lately i've been feeling into i have all along but feeling into how good it's gonna feel how fulfilling how right to finally just know this is my person and have that person just knowing that i'm their person and how different that is from the developmental stages where there's uncertainty and nervousness and all of that through life lessons through getting to know each other in our natural environments from a distance we're actually validating to ourselves why the divine has put these particular pairings together so we have now the heart is awake love innocence and reverence exactly so there's this new kind of awareness coming in for the connections both feminines and masculines what can we see for what the masculines want to manifest here they don't want anything premature this new beginning keeps flying away we have this card of blockage which is talking about the eclipses coming up september october so there might be some time periods where the masculines know that things cannot fully be go time until around september october for some reason that's going to be another big time here where certain things have to be dealt with certain decisions have to be made that have been pulling the two apart so extenuating circumstances but it's like something can't fully kick off until the next couple of months play out somehow let's have a look at the advice for the feminines yeah this ace of pentacles this new beginning so your masculine knows so pay attention to what it might be for you feminines that you need august you know into september to finalize to balance out you must know of something right now that something new is coming for you it looks like it's going to coincide with what your masculine is picking up on instinctually intuitively and then we get hydrogen atom which is a number one card ace of pentacles this new beginning is coming in during this eclipse season coming up 
where it says consciousness beginning in faith. So have faith that whatever still needs to be balanced out and cleared out is what's bringing in the new beginning. And the reason the new beginning isn't here yet is because these extra details still need to be worked out appropriately. <laughs> what can we see for the actions that the masculines are taking? They're grieving and they're wishing on a star. So the healing, the hope, this renewal is coming in. So they're letting this wave through them. Some of them are looking at stars and making on wish, making wishes on stars to never have heartache and loss again. And they're starting to really see that these connections are the ones that will not cause that heartache. It's like their, their eyes are being opened by the divine that these connections are healing. What can we see for the feminines? Keep an open mind. Look at that. The star is shown in this one. So you're looking at the same stars. You're wishing on the same hopeful dreams. So keep an open mind. Keep believing in it, feminines. Don't lower your vibe because your masculines are really starting to desire this in the right way. They are the protectors. They are providers. They want to do this when, when it's absolutely right for both of you. And we get seal of individuality, authenticity, uniqueness, integration. So both are learning how to walk to the beat of their own drum and not compromise. And that is going to be the infallible truth that allows you not to lose yourselves once you're in connection together. What is the biggest challenge for the masculines? Continuing this way forward, this is the same card we got to begin with where the masculines are working towards um, I heard rectifying the living situation, figuring out how to come in in life partnership terms, baby steps bit by bit. So they might be saving up money with all these pentacles. They might be keeping an open mind that they don't need to have a certain amount of money to come forward, that it's more about energetic balance. So there, there's something here where they're doing a little of this. I just heard saving up for an engagement ring. What can we see for the feminines? Lovers, keep focused on the higher love. Just witness that part unfolding. All of the lessons, all of the depth that's coming in this, all the healing, all of the perfect timing, all of the insights, all of the aha moments you're having for yourself and your person. Energetically, commitment, connection, flexibility, and resolution. Yes, ride or die energy. So everything right now, the challenge is staying the course and knowing it all contributes to the big picture. What is the solution? Knowing that cycles need to close out. So for the masculines, they're heavily guided right now to trust the divine plan, trust the higher guidance, and just know they can have patience, that they are lovable, that they are loving. They don't have to judge themselves for being a certain kind of way, enough or not. This is really finding peace. So masculines, if you're watching, I know you're out there, really take heart that things sometimes need to play out in the physical. It's the densest realm. And if you ask to be shown why things are taking the time they are or why they need to play out certain ways or how they can move forward faster, you will be given those answers. Ask and it is given. What can we see for the feminines? The devil in the inverse. So yeah, we're overcoming huge obstacles right now. And for this card like this, feminines, you still need to overcome your karma. You still need to overcome the obstacles, the binding of the physical world, any contracts, any things that are disingenuous. You need to eliminate anything that's not a perfect fit for you out of your life. You, only you are accountable for doing that and you're doing it really, really well, feminines. Energetics. We're getting enthusiasm, learning, generosity, and fortune. So as you free yourself from everything that is not for you, feminines, you're unlocking your fortune. You're doing that. You're accountable for that, not your masculine. You have to be in the frequency of that, and that magnetizes your incredible, ambitious, or supportive, or all of the above masculine in when you've already unlocked that ability inside your your consciousness your manifestations what can we see for the direction in the near future Woo, five of wands and mother of wands so the feminines are going through a rite of passage right now clearing out a lot of energies that have no business over the feminine's inheritance kingdom inheritance um, financial blessing um, abundance there is some karma being released right now, feminines, where you have had to be 
going through other channels to have your abundance no more you're coming into your own as a master so masculines have been held away so that you can go through this rite of passage on your own without being rescued by your masculine it's not about your masculine offering you that and you being a trophy partner or anything like that this is you earning your stripes and so your root chakra reset and removing yourself setting your standards higher so this is karmic partners whether that's romantic or business or what have you, you're gonna be coming into your own feminines when you eliminate these external energies that have been pulling at you and, and siphoning off your energy, milking you for your life force energy resources in some way, your intuition even. This is you knowing that everybody can do it for themselves and you've got to come back into your own accountability by releasing anything that's parasitic, anything that's been codependent, anything that you felt a duty to carry that you know doesn't feel well with your soul. It's about eliminating all of that right now and the masculines are holding space for this to happen. This is also where you divine masculines can trust your own intuition better about the things you need to release, your fears, your concerns. What do the feminines need to know? Death, necessary ending. So there is a rebirth here coming from this carcass. There is new life coming from the release of the old. Nothing is wasted. You're going to take all the lessons going forward. And we have blue star of hope, ascension, surrender, purification. So you're going through another purification, feminines and masculines, and it's giving way to new life in these connections. I'm getting that eclipse imagery of the September, October, area so whatever's going to be transmuted between now and then just buckle down and do it let it let it happen don't resist it everybody okay many blessings bye for now